Welcome Traveler, in this video we'll become overpowered in 30 minutes using the Naga Kiba with a Blood Flame Blade Incantation and also the Double Slash Ash of War. This build recently got me the Platinum Trophy in 16 hours. Always breaking your enemies with the right Wanderer's Physique, overloading them with bleed damage and hiring your attack with every successive hit. Four steps to turn you from a puny samurai into a boss bully. We start as a samurai because of the high amount of decks that we begin with since 22 is our early goal. And the Ushigatana is going to make the hardest step, step 4, quite easier. Step 1 is acquiring the Ash of War we're looking for and that would be the Double Slash Ash of War. For that we'll need to head to Khalid. So in the beginning you grab Torrent, right into the Lake Agle, go for the shortcut with a chest into the Khalid Mines, but we are rats here. Also, as you arrive in the mines, don't forget to get the plus five smithing stones. You'll need them later. And from here on out, it's going into Celia, the town of sorcery. And here you will have to do your jumpy bumpy over the roofs. Don't forget to pick up the golden seed. Why not? You're already there. And then double bow shoot that scarab for the double slash ash of war. Done. This is going to be your main thing to bully bosses especially with the incantation that we're going to pick up right now, Blood Flame Blaine. Your bleed procs are going to be everywhere over the place, just destroying bosses in milliseconds. Step two is going to be a long ride ahead of you because that's where we're going now for the Black Flame Blaine. For this, we're going to start at the Stormhill Shack and ride past the whole castle to arrive at Lurnia Lakeshore early. Don't forget to take this side of Grace because we'll need it for a talisman. Now from here on out, you're trying to reach a location between the Boil Prawn Shack and also the Temple Quarters. There will be a Scarab that you boob once, twice, and then you already have the Black Flame Blade. Interesting. As you're going there, you're already going to be picking up from these parlors in between the, the Smithing Stones too, Because we're using a weapon that actually will need these to get upgraded. Yes, I'll show you all the Smithing Bell locations in the How to Go Further part. But why not get what you're already riding past? And as you're actually close to the temple quarter, you can also take the Glintstone key already for the Raya Lucaria Academy. Talking about Raya Lucaria Academy, as you're riding away from the dragon with the Glintstone key, head to the grace in the next parlor for another smithing stone, but all these bonus runes, which allow you to push your stats up that we can reach this 21, 22 decks very early or Step number three, the Naga Kiba. Here, we're teleporting back to the Agal Lake North side of Grace, and then we're heading straight into the ravine, where we will be attacked and invaded. Do not fight back. Start running circles, not dying, until your help comes, Mr. Yura. He's going to be supporting you to kill the dude. And then after you supported you to kill the dude... You're going to walk up to him, shake his hand, and then ram your blade into his chest, trying to murder him. This might be a bit more complicated for you as you're new to the game or not, but that's why we also have our Ushigatana to just sheet with R1, then unsheet slam him and get him killed relatively quick, which leads us to our weapon that we wanted to have, the Naga Kiba, which has an absolute incredible range. And especially if you pair this with a double slash Ash of War, you're just going swoop, 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 clashing people into pieces. Now, before we get to step four, you can already go to the round table hold with the plus one stones that you picked up throughout the journey to these respective points. You can upgrade the sword one time, equip the Ash of War, turn it into a keen version, which makes the dex scaling a little bit better. And then we're teleporting straight away back to the Stormhill Shack. And from here on out, it's actually a very nice, simple ride just down the road towards Alexander the Warrior Jar. We're going to ignore him for now, but we're going to take this state of grace. And then we're heading all the way to the Summon Water Village outskirts. And there in the Summon Water Village, you can find with a Stone Sword key, the Green Turtle Talisman, which hires your stamina recovery rate. And as you're going slash, 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 with the Naga Kiba, you can then straight up get your stamina back up faster and easier, which is great. But this is not the last piece of the puzzle. No, now we're looking for the Winged Sword Insignia, which raises attack power with successive attacks. That is already fantastic because you're essentially successive attacking with the double slash all the time. 
And this insignia gets easily grabbed at the Lernier Lakeshore side of Grace. Then you're riding all the way into the hidden Stillwater Cave. Uh-huh. And the Stillwater Cave is actually a simple just run through straight. Just take care that you don't fall into the poison. Go alongside the outskirts of the stones. And then you just jump over these floorboards until you're at the boss. Which you can then double slash Nagakiba clip clap left and right. Because with the runes that we picked up earlier, we managed to already boost ourselves to 22 decks. Uh-huh. Simple as is. And then we're essentially able to overcome him. Get the winged sword insignia. And that's the double talisman to already carry you down the road. Now, before we go any further, the Limgrave tunnels are waiting for you. And here you're going to pick up every plus one smithing stone. Because with these plus one stones and the plus twos you have had earlier from the Lurnia Lake Shores, you can already vastly upgrade your weapon. Blasting through these tunnels is easy. It gives you some nice runes. And essentially, the damage boost is there. Don't worry. You don't need to go into further tunnels for more smithing stones. We'll get the smithing belts for that. Now, you'll wonder, we did all of this, but we have no... 12 faith and 10 arcane to actually use our black flame but yeah unlucky right well that's where you're gonna take now your trusty nagakiba your fanged im ashes from earlier and then we're just heading into storm rail castle to quickly kill margit the fellow omen he's gonna be just falling because the fanged im ashes do extreme bleed as i mentioned and then you're just double slashing him into slice and dice pieces and with the runes he's giving you, you can put your faith and arcane up to 12 and 10, and suddenly you can use the black flame. And to now show you the full power of what this does, let's just walk through the Stormvale castle quickly to show you how effective it is after 30 minutes already versus Godric the Grafted, with then the follow-up steps to go to boss bully. Before we start into the fight, the most important thing, allocate flash charges over to one more mana because we're gonna use up all our mana for the setup essentially going in summon our lads go one-handed black flame go two-handed drink one mana potion ready it's gonna do one attack roll that and then you're gonna start being a goddamn mini to him and continue being him. and you notice how how much you're just <laughs> from the from the get-go now the next phase that starts so we are rushing in he should be close to getting staggered yep now like since we don't have stamina we can actually do the stagger Get him back up and then just grab it up. Done. Now with his remembrance and the runes he's giving you, we can quite make some levels to not be in danger and struggle ever at all. So we can go vigor, push some endurance, some more vigor. Uh, we could go for more dex if we want to for more damage, but I kind of want to get like the vigor and endurance at a point where I feel comfortable with. We usually beef this up quite some. And now with 18 and 16, the rest of the points are dex and vigor. Endurance is very good on 16. As your mixed wondrous physique, you're taking the stone barb cracked tier. I'll tell you what you get that in a second. You get that with the opalin heart tier. The plan here is makes attack more likely to break enemy stances than a mixed physique. So if you're going slash, 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 the amount of poise damage you're dealing is insane and they stagger just straight away. And then you can do more slash and slash. And with the all damage negation hired, we're just taking some damage and then we already stagger and then we're doing more damage and just straight up win. For the crack tier in the Opalin, you just have to reach the minor Erd tree in Khaled. There's going to be a putrid avatar waiting for you. Either you just ride from the Summon Water Village outskirts all the way, or you go to the third church of America and there's a teleporter in the back that brings you all the way up to the Farum great bridge now fighting the pudered avatar seems daunting but i literally do it after fighting godric as we just did and it's the simple combination of roll hit roll hit just after every single attack he does dodge and then do damage never two hits only one hit you'll get him down over time and get ninety thousand runes 
couldn't be simpler. Now to get your Nagakiba to plus 25, you could just go through every single mine and just get three, four smithing stones and so on. But rather than that, let's get the smithing stone belts. Sealed tunnel. That's where you find the one for plus three and four. This is the Elsa's Plateau and right next to bottom right to the Landale City, here you find the sealed tunnel. Just get to the boss. You can upgrade your weapon already with plus three and four stones. For plus five and six smithing stones, you need to finish Landell City and then take the Grand Lift of Rold. And there, already in the Zamor Ruins, you just go into the cellar straight up plus five and plus six. Oh, and for seven and eight, you only have to go Ferrum Azla and kill the Godskin duo, which is absolutely no problem with this build. I mean, like... Swoop, 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 swoop. And you make shish kebab out of that. And yes, you see, I'm using the Mimic tier for this fight. There's a video linked in the description below how to get the Mimic tier if you don't know how that's possible yet. Now, let me give you some real boss fighting to give you a hang of the play style. Like, it's, it might be not worth it trying to jump attack, stagger, plassy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. We're trying to cut off. Mm -hmm. So the daughter wants to cut a leg off. So he can't, can't like stand on three legs anymore. It's actually really, really smart strategy. I'm gonna say. Also, my child is savage. And she, she ain't wrong, too. That's the best part. But there's a vector beamed. Let's move some more We'll come to here. Now come there. Ah! Come there nochmal. Ah! Mm-hmm. Oh! <laughs> das war ein bisschen laut, oder? Crazy start, right? Come on, let me... Let me first try this mother trucker. Thank you. State of affairs. I commend your spirit to the boss. See, wh why is he not doing it there? Queen Marika has had her hopes for us. That we will not take you to struggle. On to eternity. In my... In my... 
Gideon off near bullied laser gents. Bad start. Bad start. In case you ever wondered, yes, you can also stagger the giant, guys. I've actually tried it out. You can actually stagger him, too. Is this greedy what I'm doing here? Yep. Absolutely worth it, though, when it works. Absolutely worth it though when it works. Did you just see the amount of bleed damage he just took there? Oh, wait, 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 run, 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 no! Cataclysm! Mimic Tears taking such an abuse, honestly. And dead. Okay, alcoholic. Not the water flow dance. I'm actually not sure how I survived that. Good. You got it. You see, my, my R2 is just literally not R2-ing. Oh. I, I was just waiting there for my R2 to be R2-ing again. Screw it. Let's just first try it, chat. Let's just let's just let's just let's just first try it, huh? Why don't we? Why don't we? Chat, why don't we just first try it? Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed 30 minutes to OP. If you're looking for more builds, there is a wizard or the Reaper of Faith, which is my personal favorite one.